Level 1 of the Tau framework is your base fundamental level. As we can see, there's a high level of humanistic support needed here. The learning environment can be both systems and human in its approach. But at this level, I think we have to look at um, supporting the tutors, the lecturers, sort of realizing what tools and techniques are, are in place, have already been made, whether it's uh, virtual learning environments, mobile learning, or using some of the many web tools available, of um, increasing the quality of the resources and the content and the, and the materials they're making in supporting the learners. As we progress up a level, just before we move to level two, it's very important, as with most teaching and learning environments, that you assess the technological awareness of the learner. This can be key to the next level, level two. There we can see a picture of learners having fun, which is what we ideally want people to have. And the technical awareness of, of the learner of how they will interface, integrate, apply, use the material content that has been produced for them. And then to put it into context, contextual learning, um, it's, it's about the application of this within their work. How, how is this going to be applied and then assessed? The VLE, PC and mobile are different access routes and different routes to consume this material. But really it's checking that the learners know how to use the systems, have got awareness of current technologies and digital technologies, and just making sure that it, you are using the appropriate methods to allow the learners to interface and then apply the material, as I said, put into context, the material that's being produced. This now is an area which probably takes a little bit of experience to get right. Um, and somebody with a, a background of um, higher education or further education would have a, a good a good idea so a tutor of um, really making sure that the learners are interacting they have peer buddies study buddies moving more towards self-managed um, and you can track the consumption of this learning in this picture we have a, a VLE on the screen of the laptop a laptop a mobile device, an iPod, like MP3, MP3 player, an assessment, and some theory and text. Just looking at either outside, external, or inside to an educational environment, those are a lot of the, of, of the access points and routes that learners will use within their study. And here, this is what is obviously really important. That's why we're sort of in this position in the first place about making sure that learning occurs the learners are gaining knowledge they have interacted with this system the technology enhanced learning is working for them they are consuming the content the material that's been produced or been gleaned you know you could have used uh, e-learning material digitally orientated material from other sources nln the bbc numerous places and it's um just making sure that it is useful and specific to their learning needs or they are achieving and it's helping them achieve the learning outcomes which has actually been set 
is what we look at just around the area of level three is his footprint of learning. As the title says there, sustainable resource utilization is quite important. As in not issuing hard copy stuff needlessly, as in tweaking, and then ideally evaluating how this material, content and method can be reused. That's really the secret of this. It's as long as the learning outcomes haven't changed, or if they have, it can be slightly tweaked to meet new learning outcomes. If it's uh, voiceover material, screencasting material. Here we're looking to not reinvent the wheel, to remodel what's been made already, if it's worked already. Um, hopefully, through a brief evaluation, you'll be able to adjust and make sure it's effective for future teachings. And it's the material made here at level one. It's this, it's the base learning environment. And as you progress with experience, your, your, your skill and quality of e-resource really, ideally should sort of um, be more effective as you are going on. The self-managed orientation of learning would look for us to try to get the learners to have a pull process. So we've put the content and material into the virtual learning environments onto their devices via USB pens, via um, the in the internet or the intranet. So you've you've clearly instructed the learners of where the material is, and then with little encouragement from yourself, eventually. The idea would be to, to make them more effective learners, so they pull it down. So they, the learners are self-managed and self-motivated to go and look for this content and material through perhaps the virtual learning environment and download it and use it at times convenient to, to themselves. A very good way that, um, that, that technology enhanced learning has supported learners is preemptive material before a session so people can um, discuss, collaborate the knowledge, and post-lecture, sp specifically before um, assignment submissions, so they can maybe deepen their learning and uh, form a greater knowledge of the, um, of the of the context of the course, thus helping them to achieve their assessment and clearly demonstrate learning from this process. This was a comment from one of these learners who you can see in front of you in this debate session. I hope there will be downloadable VLE podcasts for this debate. Not all learners can gleam and write down text information on paper, on their notebooks, their tablets, very, very quickly. With differentiated learning styles, it's useful to capture audio, capture video, popped into a virtual learning environment or onto their devices by various means and allow them to reflect at a later date. And this is where the technology for reflective learning purposes really comes into its own on the bus traveling into the college. Sat in the car park, parked up half an hour before the lecture, listening, watching through your iPhone, through your Wi-Fi enabled device. So that is a couple of minute overview of how the technology enhanced learning framework is in its current incarnation as of 2012.